Game Folk that works for most of the teams here. Of course, as Berserk uh, takes down Chalala, you gotta innovate in one way or another. Yeah, that's John also now with that takedown 4v4 situation as El Mimor will be setting up on B site and putting that spike down. So Alter Ego now, at the very least, making that plant happen. Thing is though, Vimino, what do you think about the momentum perhaps Alter Ego has? They were able to decimate Big Bam a while ago and yeah. they're playing the series back to back effectively. Do you think that's going to help them out as Full Sense is now on the hunt with Trailblazer? You know, honestly, I do, Dax. Uh, it's very typical of us to think that endurance or stamina is going to be a thing, but not for these pro players. I think as Limey Stacks and Elmi Moore gets a double kill right there, Elmi Moore with a triple kill actually as Natsuran closes out the round, but I was saying in terms of the bracket. Uh, full Sense defeated Boom 2-1. to one. However, AE lost boom 2 to 1. So that's kind of a thing. PTC taking down Berserk. They're going to try at, at the very least. Figure out who to spot here. And John Olsen, he gets a ding there onto Fat Penguin. He will go down. And Ted Watal yeah, yeah, finds yeah. the answer in response. So Alter Ego, they still can put up a fight here, actually, Vim. They, there's a Phantom in head here for Natsal Rent. Trying to find a target or two, if ever. Lammy Stacks on the other side of the speedway. All in all, for full sense. Just play responsibly, play respectfully. And they might be able to just w wait for the opportunity to get those kills. Tabatal going for a bit of a wall bang right there. Does not get a real gank here. But tell me more at the very least, he's down to 73 well, HP. Remaining. And Super Boss bossing out the competition right there. It's all going to be down to Elmi more, Dex. Oh, Elmi more. He does it again with the Sheriff. But now he's put in a 1v3 situation. Genuine High time head. here for Elmi more to look for a target or two. Recon Vault now thrown over to the market. Oh, Thing is, though, that spike is very, very soon as John Olsen might get into his sight lines. It's going to be very, very close. But Berserk's caught napping instead. John Olsen with a silent assassination on the one. Now with the updraft, trying to go for the shots there versus Tempertol. But it seems like he will be able to bottle off those blades and get on away. Lavi Snap's not caught out here by Elmi more. And Alter Ego pushing for that B side here, Vim. Really strong entry onto the side by Tabatal right there. The Seekers are going to be going out, so it's going to buy them a little bit of time here. It's PTC tries to dish out a little bit of damage. Trying to just keep up the pressure as the rest of the team is trying to go on site. But Elmi more will be denying PTC of any redemption, at least in this particular scenario. Yeah, and LB Moore has been incredible all throughout the tournament run, honestly, of Alter Ego. And he's continuing on with it. speaks volumes of how hot I gotta say Alter Ego. Many other prizes that are in store for our teams here. But now, seems like uh, Full Sense is gonna be on an ego state. A little bit of a broken ego state here. And Alter Ego, at the very least, they get that first pick off there. From that's when that Super Bus does go down, and that's one of the small weaknesses Full Sense has. Super bus, incredible player, but if he gets caught out early, there's a lack now of literal control there for the side of full sense. And they're falling apart one by one. PTC next on the list. We do have the high ground though for Chalalala, and he's gonna be singing a merry song for that takedown. For Cirques now, Cloudburst gonna get thrown. That's right on the board yet again, but Chalalala with the second kill there. It's 2v3, Vimino. Hebbatol putting that spike down, but overall. Elmimore is ready for this push. He has the Hunter Fury. He has a good angle. There's the Guiding Light Knight for confirmation, but Elmimore does get blinded. Full oh, Sense though, where's the peak? Oh, Chalalala with another one here. Three kills so far for the Killjoy. Yeah, they're absolutely struggling here, but it is absolutely a winnable condition here. Lammy Snacks down to 59. Chalalala Last down to 38 standing. HP. One does get the remaining. pick on to Tabatol. Now it's going to be down for Zerks. Dominic. The question is, can they do it here against Full Sense? Who is prepared? Now, it's going to be a bit of a challenge to burst onto the site decks because, you know, rushing through those gravity walls is going to be a bit of a challenge. So, let's see what they can actually do. It seems like they have sort of baited out these utilities, but John Alton is going to be getting killed onto Elmi more as the rest of AE tries to fight back here, Dex. Yeah, they just get in anyway, and that's gonna be Natural Rant Blade Alert in the middle. Tebatol on the board as well. PTC now the only one left. 1v3, that's gonna be good for running down the clock for no apparent reason. That lack of, I'd say, irresponsible haste does help them out immensely. But for now, it's full sense taking the game to the next level and going for a different kind of speed. Getting to so far, Super Busto. It's time for the backstab if ever. Gets the lineup on the everyone gets a takedown. Fat Bag would get a fall as well. And he just played cosplay there. He was in the posture along. 
for quite a while already here in this SEA playoffs. But we're not done. And Folsom scores every single round. It can be a new experience and a new setup. And there you go. John also with his prize there on the first strike. I like how amused you are when you say his name. Yeah, cha -la -la. Cha -la -la. It's a little bit of a song, and there you have it. The dance versus Fat Penguin. He will get that takedown, but the Guardian still. Left. Second time already for Elmi Moore. Looking for more. Is this going to be the Guardian showing on up when need the most? Natsulat, though, finding the Phantom Kill onto Super Bus. And out there you go right now, looking to go on to that A site. Spike planted as we check out the soul, putting that one down. And AE just prepared for this push. Lamy snacks, though. Shock Dart has been lob bounces on back to the generator. Keep an eye out on Natsal Rant yet again. He's been finally kills out of nowhere here, Viminal. And as we got Elmimar going over to the low ground, he tries to go for the taps with the Guardian to try and get a wall bang or two. But Lamy Snacks now finds the kill onto Natsal Rant. Here comes the DC as well from the doorway. And Full Sense trying to go for that dual collapse, but it's going to be two here. And, and that's the thing. It, it does feel like right now for the side of Full Sense. Oh, John Olsen, though, from the middle. Beautiful pick off there onto Burst Cirques. Sometimes you just need to make an updraft play happen. And there you go already. Full sense getting that takedown. Super bust though. Still by the cubby. And here for side the full sense. It's all just about figuring out how to make this defense work. Out there you go though. They've been keeping an eye out with their ultimates. They still have it in the bag. The la la la. He'll bag that kill there versus LB Moore. And he's not done. Alongside Superbus. Beautiful ding there on the Fat Penguin. The Sheriff's again counting courtesy of Full Sense. And as Temple Toll tries to make the flash play work, it doesn't even pop. And Superbus with the takedown. It's all left to Natsal Rant right now. He's going for the 1v1 versus Lime Stacks who has the frenzy as the spike is all the way on the short angle. Natsal Rant now able to ankle break Lime Stacks there. Making it 3v1, full sense, damage has been done, guns have been taken, and Vim here with that squid. Looking at positioning here, the Berserks and the rest of Alfiego taking heavy control of B-Main. They have all the information, Tebato, uh, rather PTC no longer has any flashes, it might be in for a world of hurt here, Dex. Full sense now waiting on the other side. Natsal not with the take down. Berserks also finds one more. And since AE went for the heavy stacks, they're gonna go for the kills and confirming if there's still anyone to clear or not. That guiding light though might be a misnomer criminal because you can see here for Lamy Snacks, he's waiting behind the shed on the other side. By the speedway itself, operators there for John Olsen and AE. They need to make a decision and fast, but now they know that the sofa's there by the hallway, left. by the speedway itself. And they got spotted out right there. Quick rotate on a courtyard, it seems. John Olsen has something to say about that down, as he gets he a kill through the smoke onto Berserk. So that is huge. Equalizing the numbers right here on the board decks. Yeah, wake up call there and John Olsen, but he missed the shot as we see Tebethal push on forward. They did just go through the legs there as the sky finds the takedown instead. And the high ground, here we have it. The recon ball just bouncing on back. Tebethal, Elmi Moore. Wonder what they're gonna do here with the double stack. They're just gonna it could be uh, a bit of a standard, uh, perhaps meant to be split oh, right here. But as I say that, Dex, oh my gosh, long rage knife throw berserks. Where have you been all my life after that shot? And now Alter Ego now making it 5v3. And that's the thing about this roster, they are quite an aggressive one, but for now they're playing it in the most opportune ways. At the same time though, they need to be careful, they need to clear out A-Site and fast because time is ticking, and they're gonna look for that safe plant as much as possible. Super though on the high ground, Berserk so not paying attention, that's all the way, still gets the takedown! And Alter Ego getting away with that one, Elmi more on the board as well! It's all up to Lamy Snacks here, and really, the opportunities right now for full sense sometimes... It's just not working out for them at all. That was a gimme there for the side of full fits. But Alter Ego looking for the execution. But the right click doesn't connect CT playoffs. Day three here in SCA. Just all about the schedules, all about the dings. So LB more with two so far. But he has been making a big boom with his voice and with his gunplay. And he does it there yet again, Vimelo. 4v3 now. <laughs> There's nothing relaxing about that, let me tell you. Elmi Moore is just off the chains right now. He is going to go down, but he's done the damage here. Tabitha taking down mid. PTC. Traded out by Chalalala. It's going to be a 2v3 now. Fat Penguin, Nats Loran, and Berserk still on the board. Now... Oh. Still winnable for Full Sense, but if they lose this round, momentum is going to be heavily in favor of A. Caught off guard, Lamy Snacks falls to the hands of Berserks. Yeah, it's, it's against their previous opponent. Chalalala. -la -la. There's so much work to be done. Work, work. Something he's trying to do here. Chalalala -la -la with a takedown there on the Berserks of the AE playstyle has been one of the tenants of the.
AE expedition so far in SCA. Full sense, these guys, they can still fight as well. The Alter Ego still making that one work, doesn't care about the peak from above. The gravity well making dividends happen. And PTC right now with a takedown on the Berserk 3v4 situation. Full sense now, will they be able to explode on site? We haven't gotten the biggest booms in terms of the aggression here so far in this game. Alter Ego looking to put a stop to that even more so. Fat Penguin now with the Nova Pulse. There's the blind as well. But John Austin Live Stacks gets the takedown. Full sense right now. Going for the plant here and now. This is a good sign here for Full Sense. Not only did they have the Spectres, but since BTC is still alive, the reroad there topping up John Olsen Lavi Snacks, but it doesn't matter if you get your medication, says LME more, because it's gonna be a love bite here from the Sova. Now then, 2v2 scenario. Lavi Snacks behind the generator. Natsarad in the meantime keeping an eye out, but Lavi Snacks with the wall bag headshot there onto Natsarad. And just the scans there, essential. LME more versus two. He still has the Sheriff and the Spectre. We'll see how this is gonna pan on out. BTC though gets caught out for a surprise, and that's about the Sovas behind the generator. Can Lavi Snacks get that kill? Here comes Elmi Moore, sipping all around. Left, right, dark, bring around the Rosie, and a mirror image speaks volumes. But it's Elmi Moore who will get more. But the time is up the essence, and it looks like there's less time than a do lose this round. Berserk's assuming another position in wine. Does get spotted out by John Olsen, though. Or none. Because I will never forget that whole conversation we had. But John. Close. If door you close. if you don't close the door, <laughs> what the core? The core closed. <laughs> the core closed. I mean that is a core, of, a core part of the A site. If you leave the door open when you're executing Dax. I mean, okay, okay. <laughs> why would you do that, right? Yeah, you know, tongue twisters and the like, but the old reverse. I gotta say, it does feel like it's just a full full back off gameplay for them so far, but as I say that, they decide to go full steam ahead and push off the A-side. The trigger has been pulled. The movement is there, but Natsal Rat catching John Olsen for a surprise. It seems like John Olsen is assuming that's a teammate rather than the opposition, and Natsal Rat able to just walk on in to get those takedowns. LBR on the board as well. Natsal Rat with three so far, and he just played camouflage there versus full sense, but it's not done yet. Superbus now all alone does get tagged, but he gets it back on the Berserks instead. Tempeth all in the meantime with the refrag, but super and Berserks now Flying on high to make that blade storm count, but here we go. Crossing divide is the call. If you want the ultimates, you get a lot of them here from the side of full sense. They are unleashing everything they can and more. Research though in the meantime with the blade storm here. Here comes Fat Penguin with the crossing divide in response. It's a big, big setup with the walls. But John Olsen, he's a big boy to get to there. PTC on the board as well as Tebatol will catch out John Olsen in terms of the refrag. But it's 4v2 right now. One wall dissipates. Elvi Moore sees a target and gets a takedown. Time though is taking full sense already on sides. And Tebatol blinding, flashing, Lammy stacks. Elvi Moore coming in close. It's all up to PTC here to buy time. Fuel flash into the takedown. And in that battle, it's full sense. Four bracket runs. Only one can stand tall though at the very end of this night, and that's around right now. We'll get the takedown off to John Olsen, but PTC finds the answer and trades him back. Comes 4v4 here, Vim, and full sense now. Looking to push for that A site. As we take a look at this, full sense positioning themselves to make an entry on here. PTC actually with a slow entry, and he gets punished for that by Berserks. Alter Ego, they will take that kill and more. They want to go find some targets. Berserks is not done, and he's gotten two so far. And is this going to be the barrage here from Berserks? As it's spike planted, and AE is coming for the retake. Superbus still going to be right beside the generator. Lavi Snacks in the meantime, down in hell. And here comes Berserks to get three. Lavi Snacks with a refrag, but he's all alone. And unfortunately, one uh, people go in. Two people are going to die. You know, Master Map, Viminal, love never Oh my crap. god! But John Olsen, he barely touched the ground there. Will Elmi more mold him down? Enough about the mathematics because all we gotta see are the multiple bullets here from Elmi more. What's that the shorty? But he gets taken out there by Lavi Snacks. Two here for Lavi Snacks so far. He's the only one left after Berserk gets to take down on this teammate. But Lavi Snacks, he is just getting the kills here versus side of Alter Ego. And he is just snacking on the opposition. Can he actually get the crunch versus Natharan? Here we go with the kill joint up point and looking to get the one map's lead versus full sense. That's Laurent again with the multi kills. You know, majority of the time throughout this game, multi kills happen either when the other team is in eco state and just kind of run it down, spray chance. Roy, the lockdown. Does Elmi Moore have a lineup to get that? Well, he's gonna try to go for the shot. Bounces on back! 
And oh, it's not gonna be left. enough there to destroy the the team container. And there you go, Fat Penguin. Hands up! Super Bus is there to arrest you. Help me more in the meantime. The holding line inside the boat has to be the Dowser Ego coming up ahead in terms of the trades and for with the Phantom. But during the other times, it's either Elmi Moore or not Slorant somehow just holding down the site really well, isolating those angles, taking the first place. It just lets you enjoy the map. You know, go for the knee pick off just like that from Tebbot saying if you have a comfort map pick, you might have a different kind of composition compared to the rest. But here in the meta versus meta, in the mirror matchup, it's just the best versus the best. Can Alter Ego best full sense here to win out the series or will full sense force out a map number three? Chalalala there with the takedown. John also putting that spike down. It's full sense here. Getting the spike and getting killed there out the Berserks. John Olsen with those crispy one taps. Is it the Knots around though? Shutting him down eventually here. The 3v2 still winnable by either team. But as I say that, Chow La La will be taken down. <laughs> Loretta, I just love his name, Dex. Gets another onto Tevatol. And so, rare time I hear you sing, but right now we're getting the tune of Chow La La and he will be able to give. Alter Ego. Only more, he is just gonna have to run all the way from the Trailblazer. Sick him, says this guy as Elmi Moore. Here he goes with that first takedown. Watch out for this guy, he has been exceptional so far with the shots. Elmi Moore now taking on the round to the left hand side. You just gotta love how Elmi Moore plays, basically. So effective with the kills. Here we have it holding the line. Gets a takedown there. Oh, John also does PPC. Fine for Sergs. But Lavi Snacks pushes on forward bravely. Natsuranto would punish his hubris. And Natsuranto is not done. It's gonna be a real tough. He's gonna walk into the crossfire right here and now. He's gonna take a But also a welcome change of pace from how he's been getting opportunities here. But John Olsen, he's knocking on the door. Berserks, and seems like we're gonna have one more angel to fly on high. Berserks goes down. Natsuranto with the refrag. It's not gonna be a 4v4 scenario. And the Seekers are on the hunt. But Chalala peeks out of nowhere. Big surprise from the Cypher. PTC though might get exposed here. Elbimore, his gun is outside that Viper Spit. But the Judge still gets a surprise to get to. Who knew he had a Judge in hand? Only Elbimore had the. Bon. He might actually catch Elbimore out off guard here. And he does. It's gonna bode well with them, at least for now. Super with that yeah. takedown, Fat Penguin in the meantime. Gonna be all alone on the left. defense, full sense though. Timer ticking for Fat Penguin. Can he waddle on over and make it happen? Oh, of the game, but you know, yeah. not Saran, Tabatol, Berserks, and Elmi Moore. They've been making plays. Everyone's a playmaker on both teams. PTC takes out Fat Penguin, not Saran trades him out though. There we have it, not Saran, Tabatol on the board. Alter Ego making the Sheriff sing yet again and the hem of those revolvers as the smoking gun barrels do cool on down. It does feel like that has been the symphony that Alter Ego has been listening to time and time again. A classic truly for Alter Ego. Timeless as it is, the pistols have been their saving grace in this series so far. But full sense now in control of the angle that they would like to take here. Vimlov default plant on the right hand side. Tempo told though, painful wizard here with a shot fight. Quick little evasion here from Superbus. Even gets the kill off the Natsuran. And full sense right now. It does seem like that they just have the stellar movements that can help them out immensely. But LB Moore, a stellar shot himself, is gonna be now LB Moore and Berserks versus Chalalala. Again, the sheriff's finding the value, and the taps have been incredible here, Vim. As Elmi Moore is sticking the defuser, Berserks oh, even man. gets the kill onto Chala. As Berserks, he's been stellar with the rifles, as we mentioned before, and we'll see if he can do it again. Aldro, though, the first to fall. Here comes John Olsen in the face of Pat Penguin, and the Cypher cannot hit the shot, so John also will get the takedown instead. Full sets now, full steam is ahead onto that B side, and really, this has just been simple plays here for full sets. How they go for the rush down onto the sides, play the defaults. It's very cookie cut there, but it's working here versus Alter Ego. Down Ooh, with a little bit of HP. Though. Tebotol takes down PTC. What a shock dart. You know, you love to see it there. Yeah, just a glimpse, the corner of your eye there, in the corner of that rook. It's super bust though. Eventually, the bullets will land onto Natsarans. And it's Elmimore versus the world. Cyber Cage still buying time for Chalalala. Elmimore, though, in the meantime, does get the takedown. And Elmimore again secure with the shots from afar. It's 2v1, but time is ticking. Vandal prowess here from Elmi Moore. He's tried to do it again, and he proves his worth and proves his strength. Love the kills here from Elmi Moore, but a notch. 
as they gear up to go through and they split straight forward a split here it's going to be a fast play as Chalala takes down Nasla to open things up Oh, but it seems like Pat Penguin will say that he is done. There we go with the one for one trade. That'll be more. No catching out. Superbus and John Olsen on the board instead. It's 3v3 now. PTC there with a takedown onto Berserks. But as Elmi Moore tries to play from afar, he has the sheriff in hand because look at that in his inventory here, Mr. Vim. That's gonna be a judge. Oh, never mind. He lets it go for the Vandal instead. Can he be secure it with the shots? Tempatol though using the distraction there. And here comes Elmi Moore. But down he goes. It's all up to Tempatol now. But Lamy snacks yet again. Picked off during the entry drags here. Here we have it, quick little concussed though, and no, Alex no, Ego right now searching on around full sense though. Win three quickly! John Olsen onto that B side, taking command, but Natural Rant now will shut him down with full sense. They've done the damage versus Alter Ego. They've had some critical strikes against the opposition. And their heart is going for that remaining. journey to that A site. Put that spike down near the pyramid. It has been their favorite ancient one. Left side of B site. It's kind of hard to point out without drawing on a screen, but I think you get what I mean. <laughs> now they are holding true, but again, never count them out whatsoever. They've been so, so sharp with the shots. Especially from Elmi Moore, and that has to be their saving grace in this situation. That's right now, Mr. Opportunity, but he can only get one after Superbus does get the takedown. Now then, it's Wilson still down by a member, but for certain, Tempa Tall, this is the Alter Ego experience, and they will at least alter. Yes, about it, there's still some, I'd say, saving graces about it in the first place, but John Olsen! There's no one gonna be saving him after the takedown there from Berserks, but man oh man, Fat Penguin, he was just trying to waddle his way to that A site. He was just having his own kind of journey, and he got shut down there. PTC though, secure with a shot. There we go, Berserks does go down. Tempatol in the meantime with a refrag, making it 3v3. And PTC right behind the pyramids going forward to take down onto Tempatol. Wants another one here and now. 3v2 situation. Lammy stacks up top the stairs. And for full sense, they still have the control here on A site. And AE, they're gonna try to add at the very least, go for the push. It's Nasrath though and Elmi Moore. If these are going to be the two players left for Alter Ego, there's a bigger chance than usual that they can make the clutch happen. But Nasrath and BTC dancing around the wall. But Nasrath, he's the one who comes out of that tango and tango. And he's got into so far. Reels in front of Lamy Snacks, who will punish him for being planted. It's Lamy Snacks playing the mind games right now. Toxic Screen is going to be brought up yet again. Elmi Moore. Looks like they're going to go ring around the rosy here. And checks the corner. There's so many angles to check. You know what I mean? And it's a big map, but man, LB Moore, he's not able to hit that initial shot. Giving out the position, and there's the punish for it. A single. At least some scouting with the guy in light, but full sense. They've really proven how much they put in the effort here on Breeze. And at the same time, the playbooks yet again, they've been keeping it simple. But they finally shutting down that moving cabbage towards him. And here comes first Cirks. Know that Tripwire is deactivated. The CPTC on the side, and Fat Fangu now gets the refrag after Berserk's fall. It's still a good chance here, though, for Alter Ego. They will put the spike down, but John Olsen from afar finds that around anyway. Tempatol, though, catching out the gen in response. But it's all up to Lammy Snacks now here, Vim. He's been clutched. Can he do it against Fat Penguin? It'll be pretty hard to say. They're going to be coming from two different angles right here. Does have information. Map and go into map number three to force out the equalizer. In any case, still not gonna be over till one of these two teams makes it to 13. But there you go. That's the first one. Make that a second. Numbers piling on up here for full sense. And the body count on Alter Ego just adding up a little bit more to this collection. Three here for John Olsen. And his name is John. John Olsen just absolutely popping off on that one. Getting a 4K with that operator. Again, that gun can definitely, definitely bring in the hurt. Especially in a map like Breeze, favoring those long-range battles and giving you the edge, especially on that sniper rifle. It's feeling so comfortable with that. Now they're on. Hammer now going to get placed on the left-hand side. For Cirks, able to get the R, I believe, so he does have the Blade Storm. But as soon as I say that, PTC will just pedal those wares and make those knives fall on down. PTC now into Chalala with a takedown. It's 5v2 here, full sense this time. This has been themselves eyes wide open. No vacation time, they're still fighting on back, but Tebatol with the Guardian still making that last stand a possibility. But John Olsen now only needs one more. Nasrat all alone, he's being hounded by the Trailblazer there. And right behind, there's the Kagas, but the Blades do not connect. Shock Dark now is flying on eye. All about the utility. Operator Shock doesn't connect there. On match point, this one's going to be pretty done and dusted.
Plants with the berry orbs, some area denial between the Sova, the Killjoy, and the Viper, and of course, the mobility flexibility of that jet in the first place. But goodbye to the mobility, as John also gonna get tripled there by Teb Batal. Watching out for the kitchen, seems like he's hungry for some dinner and looking to wrap things up as soon as possible. Alter Ego, though, in the meantime, with the takedown from Elimore onto PTC. And already you can see that this can be more familiar territory and a better sign here for AE. Super Bust, though, good find onto Elimore. Wall gonna be up. A lot more sturdy in a situation like this in the pistol. And while this is happening here, Vimano, full sense able to get to that B side, put that spike down, and AE trying to play the retake. Actually, quite an unconventional wall here, but Berserks is going to read right through that, and will take down Superbus. I do respect that for coming in from Superbus, though. However, full retake is going to be in order here for One Alter Ego. Tebatol with a takedown, Chalalala with a takedown onto two though in response, and here comes a full sense of scrambling to figure out where to go. That firepower needs to be respected, but oh my god, Super Bus! It's just gonna be a smack to back! And here we go with Super Bus getting two so far. Infiltration is his game, and Super Bus is his name. Somehow, someway, this big vehicle getting on site and in left. behind, and full sense! Even though their tournament lives are on the line, they even have time to go for the knife kill, but not so rats. Ultimate opportunist yet again, just going for the takedown onto Chalalala. Super bus. Absolutely relentless though, but yeah, Natsurant has something to say about that one. As it's gonna be a 3v3. Super bus down to 27 points of HP here. We're staying behind yellow, playing that post plan game, and Fat Penguin is gonna take the fight into his own hands. Oh, he wants to go for more, and Fat Penguin, he says this is his home, this is Icebox, and this is where he's gonna shine. Takes the bullets there for Teb, but he's snazzy to see, and tell me more, watch out for this guy, because there you have it. Gorgeous gameplay at its finest. A quick little GG there versus John Olsen, Super Bus, though, again. And I feel like this is the game that Super Bus is going to shine right now, but as I say that, not Storant, he's always been a stalwart ever since. And it's Sage v Sage right there as he goes down into the hands of Nats Laurent. Oh, Nats Warm though, he's attacking it, he doesn't care. Doesn't want to give up his position and will stay on till, of course, the duration runs on out. The time is ticking in full set. They need to get on site and fast. Chalala with the openings there so far. Courtesy of the Killjoy. Ellie Mordo coming on in. BTC needs some covering fire here quickly, but he's all alone for Cirque dashing on in to get that take. The A side. However, you know, a straight up burst would be the toughest of things as Berserks takes down Shalala. -la. There's so many ultimates on the side of AE right now, Dex. Yeah, that's the thing, AE, they have so many tools that they can use and they're just getting the takedowns anyway. Lockdown though gonna get broken, but full sense. They've left. lost players that they desperately needed for this eight take. Last it's 2v4, but Lavi Snacks is not done. He's been clutching for full sense. Can he get another one? Teb but strap, well, <laughs> maybe Viminal, he's gonna be the first one there. But John Olsen, he's the first one for conflict, but Berserks, he's been mastering that green box for quite a while, and he will come up ahead in that situation. It's 5v4 for now, PTC in the meantime, moving on around. Try and look for an opportunity. Berserks though, with the kill on the super bus. Here we have it, tell me more. Goes down to that P3C, and here we have Berserks behind the yellow box. Lamy Snacks in the meantime with that takedown. Lazarus with the answer, and Lamy Snacks, he's there again. Watch out for this guy from up top. Drops on down now to look for a takedown or two. As we get locked down into play, it's full sense here. Buying space for themselves. Spike is in their hands here, Bim. And if they can get that opportunity, they can go for the plat. But Tebatol in the way, vaporized though by Lamy Snacks, and it's 1v1. Really Interesting area. usage of that Hunter's Fury in that particular scenario. There's gonna be a 1v1 situation here as Lamy Snack secures the round with default angle there, but the nano swarms making it harder here for the side of full set and for Cirks on the inside okay. of the green mist and catches out two so far. Make that three from for Cirks and he's gonna go for the barrage. Lamy Snacks though in the meantime with the answer to make it 3v2. And this is going to be full sense at the very least, looking for an angle of opportunity. They don't have the spike though here, Bim. It's right in front of them. They almost can grasp it. They almost can get to it. But Alter Ego set up in their stations. And Elmi Moore right now up top the nest might be the guy to watch out for. Oh, there you go. Elmi Moore with one. Lappy stack for the answer. It's all up to the Sova. And Investing in that fake. The fact of the matter is, they're going to be completely vulnerable on this site without the toxic screen and without a barrier orb. Now, they're down by two. It's going to be a 4v3 in favor of full sense, though. This might actually work. 
alter ego Tempo Tall goes down Full sense now looking to make this play stick And just a magic trick here from the side of Full Sense Ingenuity yet again from the Thai roster Chalala on top of the nest and he's gonna be able to screech that'll be more there and get that takedown all of the berserks if it's time for heroic it has to be now and in the face of ptc it's berserks with something out because it's not gonna work twice in a row that's for sure and there we go john also with a takedown on the berserks it's a 5v4 situation and with that kind of play from a while ago there is gonna be confidence right now here going for that default play it seems you know, gonna be taking dash from their shock dart Seems like they're still going to be maintaining man advantage here. Three to seven. Full sense. Are poised to take this round as post plant is properly set. The turret's going to be there though. John also needs time backing on away. And here comes Chalala. Throwing out that nano swarm. Alter Ego though. In the meantime, there's going to be their chance to go for the defuse. But full sense. Playing that classic post plant from above. And there we have the snake fight getting connection. One for one trade though. It's 3v2 now. And here comes John Olsen yet again. Three kills for him so far. One HP energy for Fat Penguin. But the decay will give him back 20. A full sense. They got the position that they needed. They got the pickoffs that they wanted. And really, region alongside SGMY. Alongside, of course, on the world stage. And Lamy Snacks right now. He's going to get a stage of his own. There you go. Spotlight's on him to get that takedown. Viper Spit though is the play. Elmi Moore skulking on around. And does he find PTC? Yes, he does! And just destroys, disintegrates the life of the Viper with his very own you hands. Now then, 4v4. But as I say that, there's the Resurrection Super Bus getting in position. And there you go again! Secret Agent Super Bus. Not only does he get the sneaky sticky res, but also goes for the spray down into the takedowns. And, and I, I really feel like the biggest thing that Full Sense has right now is confidence. And there you have it. To that full sense come back that they are looking for. Alter Ego though, they're potent from a on the defense, hanging on back on certain angles. PTC now buying himself the space. But John Olsen is right there. But Elmi Moore still spots him! And Elmi Moore again! He's just finding these crucial one of the beacons of hope here for Alter Ego. And really this his debut performance with AE in the BCT SEA stage. It has been incredible so far thanks to their prowess. But here we have it. Alter Ego now going for the clean of fruit. Temple with three so far. Nasarant with a that cubby and all time here for Super Bus. And there we have it. That's a takedown for Cirks. In the fall, John Olsen on the board as well. It's now going to be 4v3. Nasrat in the meantime, keeping an eye out. But it's Lammy Snacks instead, who finds Elmi Moore. Their crucial kill here for full sense. And whenever Lammy Snacks gets a takedown, it's so high impact in the round. Nasrat though, fighting against John Olsen. It's a corridor of bullets here between these two players. Fat Penguin in the middle as well. In full sense right now. Very least. They have good positioning, they do have the numbers, in this case now, PTC caught out, catching up! And that's gonna be that from afar. Stream B long as well. Here we have a John Olsen right now, he wants to fight at the very start, but Alter Eagle will show him how it's done. And really, the challenges have been interesting here in this series. Multiple times we see Full Sense going for the fight, but Alter Ego able to still outdo the opposition. And Super Bus and Chalalala will try to prove that wrong with the takedowns of their own. But here comes Berserk, and there's the Barrage yet again. Here we have it. Three kills so far from the Jets. And he wants to find even more targets. Can he actually get Lammy Snacks there? He needs two more for that ace. Chalalala up top the box here by the kitchen. Full Sense now. They do want to go for the retake, but they're not in the best condition for it. They don't have the Aldron anymore, they do have a Recon Ball just for Intel. But then again, the Killjoy here, low on the HP, and as he creeps on closer and closer for that lockdown, it's gonna be a play here from full sense. But as I say, that's Tevin Hop in those ultimates, as it's gonna be an off there, putting on pressure in the middle push of Alter Ego. Waldo is gonna get some up, and a Super Bus tries to play the Cascade! It's Berserk looking on up, and Finding one player to drop on down. Super Bus now will fall and Berserk is not done. Three here for Berserk so far, but shut down there by John Olsen. And Lammy Snacks, he finds the shock dart there. But Elmi Moore, where did you come from there? Surprising John Olsen, looking to set up with the blades. And everything now left to PTC. For full sense though, he has been the clutch player here of this roster. Can he do it again? The flexible player. Lynch been so far despite having different origins from the rest of the former NG Black roster. But in this situation now, he finds Fat Penguin. Tempo's all down below. There's the spray. PTC with two so far. Precision has been his game here. And can he be tackled in the clutch? LB Mordo will deny. 
So no blades for him. And here we have it. AE just going straight to the middle. Wall on up. Chalalala getting confirmation with a turret. A PTC. He found two. An opportunity perhaps here for the killjoy. Spike is just on his right side. And he's waiting behind the wall here, Vim. Bringing this into an equilibrium terms of man. Uh, advantage here. John Olsen and Chala La make short work of Elmi Warren Tabatol. Fat Penguin's all down to him, left to his own devices at 1v2. The spike is gonna be. Talk stream now gonna be the call. Wall on up from Superbus trying to get on over to the other side, but Elmi Moore hounding him yet again. And Chala La La with the takedown for Berserks now just swoops on in to get that takedown. Out of nowhere, Berserks is there, and that has been the call to action here for Alter Ego. You drop one, another will show on up, maybe two, maybe even three. and. AE, they I are gonna put it. that spike on down, but they still have to be wary. PTC on the left hand side, blades do not connect, and PTC does not secure that second kill as Fat Penguin will barely stay alive. But John Olsen will finish the job. Temple Tall now versus the world, and it's John Olsen and Lavi Snacks on the opposite end of this area. Can Full Sense get this round and get the double digits, or will it be Temba Tall bottling up those hopes and dreams and shattering them in the face of Alter Ego? There's a big right now, Lamb's the phrase from the Viminal. But anyway, Alter Ego, while we were talking about my absolute lunacy, this is actually a smart play here from AE. They put that Viper Spit in the middle, and here we have it now. They do get a little bit of the rise of that suit play, block some vision in this scenario here. AE just trying to play the lurk as well with Berserk. There's the takedown off the Chalalala. Just staying on this angle. Dashing on out though. PTC flushing him out. Berserk now with a takedown off the three so far. But he can't hold things together after Superbus peeks him there. And Superbus, he has the rest. Makes it 3v3 yet again. PTC right now brought back into the fold. And in this scenario here, it's LV more up top. Superbus now goes down. PTC does get a refrag. But Snake Bite, Snake Bite, Snake Bite. It's gonna get the pinch there. LV more from the grave. Catches that PTC. That was a chance to Berlin. Oh my gosh, it's just going down on the wire here. Until the very end. 11 to 12. We could possibly very likely go into overtime here dex but again that's when they can snowball but here we go already the first first rock to throw it's lb more catching out super bust there and now the avalanche is forming lb more with a second takedown already just this is confidence personified from LB Moore. Almost gets Lammy Snacks there. Here we have the third kill from LB Moore. PTC on the inside. Surprises Natural Rat. But LB Moore with 27 frags on the board. This